Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can install Pi and put in Visual Studio code in your Python and how we can write some code using it and we will control our keyboard using Pi input. So first, let's create a project folder. I'll just create a new folder in our desktop. You can create it anywhere you want. Just call it my Pi input project. Open it and now we have opened our project in Visual Studio code as you can see here. And now there is no files here, so we will create a new file and call it main.py. And here, if I write code from by input import keyboard, as you can see, I'm getting this error that says by input could not be resolved. That is because by input is not installed. So let's see how we can install this. Click on terminal and click on new terminal. And here, let's check your Python version. So the Python version that I have in my terminal here is Python 3.12.1. And if I check down here, it's the same Python version here. So if I install any packages here in this, in this terminal, we will be able to use it here. If the Python version here is different from this one, you will have to either change your Python version from here, or you will have to change the Python version in your environment variable. So we'll see that in another video. In any case, to install PyInput, just type Python m pip install PyInput. Hit enter. Now, as you can see, it is showing the message successfully install PyInput, and that warning is also now gone. So let's try some sample code using it now. I have written this code here. It is just printing everything we press until we press escape. When we press escape, it will uh, exit the program and it will type exiting program. So let's try to run this now. Let me save this. Let's remove this and I'll just run this by clicking this button. You can see whatever I'm pressing, it is showing key that and that key is pressed. Now if I press escape, it will say special key, key escape pressed and now it is exiting the program. So this is how you can install PyInput and create applications using it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.